Cam. Uh, hope your off season's going well. If you haven't heard about Cameo, you're living under a rock now. It seems like everybody's joined it. You're the latest to join it, but joining it for a good cause. Um, how did this idea kind of come to fruition? Yeah, uh, before I start, those, those videos got me pretty jacked up. <laughs> uh, Soon enough. Yeah, no, I hope hope, hope so. Um, no, you know what? Jared Gladstone with, with the Athlete Assist, he's been helping me out with some marketing uh, and some branding stuff. And um, obviously with one of the the most, I guess, well-off um, important places uh, that is kind of struggling right now is our bar and our bar is right next to the rink where a lot of fans go before, before and after the games uh, to, you know, have a couple, a couple beers and enjoy the game or the victory or whatnot. Um, and this is kind of how it started. Um, and yeah, so decided to kind of hop on cameo and a hundred percent of the proceeds that I, that I get will be going to local businesses and restaurants that need a little bit of a boost. I love that. Coming full circle is players knowing that, hey, listen, we're on the road. These guys are going there watching and cheering us on. So uh, credit to you and a great idea there. Um, is there been any strange requests? See, he's getting cameo yeah, requests, getting cameo right, requests now. right now. There you go. Uh, is there, how has it been like, is there, you know, I'm kind of new to that. Uh, we were talking about it before we interviewed you. Is there been some really unique requests on some of these? Are they all pretty standard or, or give us some dialogue on, on how different ones uh, have shaped out? You know, they've been pretty standard. A lot of happy birthdays and, you know, happy Thanksgiving or Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Uh, obviously, a lot of CBJ fans and Cam Atkinson fans, which is awesome. Uh, always thank them for the support. Um, you know, I only got a couple of kind of weird ones where they asked me to tell a joke on the spot. <laughs> uh, I don't have any dad jokes, but uh, that kind of threw me off a little bit. But, you know, it's a, it's a great way to interact with fans. You know, fans don't really get to know uh, some of their favorite athletes or celebrities um, other than what they actually do. So, um, you know, without them, we wouldn't be playing the game that we love on a daily basis. So uh, any way to kind of interact with the fans, I think that's very, very important. Oh, we love what you're doing. Uh, ha have the teammates kind of, you know, jumped on the bandwagon? Is Torts on Cameo right now? Uh, <laughs> how, how's, the, how's the whole thing kind of coming together out there? And how, how much money are, are you guys raising for the, the local businesses and restaurants? Torch, Torch should be on Cameo. He'd be making a lot more money. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot, a lot of pep talks would be going his way. But, uh, you know, the only one that's really kind of uh, messed around was Felino, of course. He, he always has to pipe in whatever, whatever I do. And uh, he, he bought the Cameo and wanted me to give him a pep talk. Uh, just said he's, <laughs> he's been struggling with his kids and his wife's on him all day. And I need a pep talk. I need... And so I put my mask on, um, and I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but, uh, you know, I, I started kind of pretending I was talking, but I was, you know, going like, <laughs> and, and I was trying to, yeah, obviously with my mask, you can tell that I was um, even trying to talk, but uh, he was like, that was the worst 70 bucks I've ever spent. Uh, <laughs> I said, the money's going to a great cause. So thank you for the support, Nikki. Well, I'll tell um, you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you if you talk to your marketer and you get that where you're trash talking your teammates, I'll double down and pay to watch the cameo Absolutely. of that as well. And yeah. you can create a whole nother another realm of this. But uh, you, you mentioned about watching those videos before this started. Does it seem like hockey for you was played so so long ago? I mean, where are you at in your training, your mindset, the uncertainty still? I mean, where, where are you at with this? Yeah, I mean, luckily we were one of the teams that was able to play in the playoffs. So I can only imagine what the guys that, you know, didn't make playoffs were going through or are going through right now. Uh, you know, for me, I really didn't take that much time off. I took a week off after we got eliminated to go back to Connecticut and, and see my family um, and then got right back into kind of weight training, uh, not so much skating for about a month. Um, but obviously with my hockey training facility, the battery hockey training facility, I'm up there all the time, kind of jumping on the ice, messing around with kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have a lot of guys back now, um, and we're pushing each other and just trying to stay motivated. You know, it's, it's been kind of radio silent on both ends. So, uh, doing as much as we can to kind of stay hungry and, and compete, you know, ready just want to be ready for when we actually do start. And compete's a good word because you guys always seem to compete. And I don't know if that's a trickle-down effect from your coach or whatnot, but the conversation going into last year was uh, right Columbus off. I mean, look at the departures that they had with Bob and Panarin and Duchesne. You name it, 
everybody wrote you off. And what do you guys do? You come out and you just grind away. You make the playoffs and you make some serious noise. Uh, not the same exodus this offseason. If anything, you guys add a couple of pieces in. What are your expectations for this team and how the roster is kind of shaping up? Yeah, you know what, for me, and that's that's how my mindset has always been playing with a chip on my shoulder, and that's how we kind of approach it every single year. Uh, no matter who we have in the lineup, it seems like everyone writes us off, and, you know, you can get, you can go either two ways. And I think a great thing with what Torts has instilled in us is just using that as motivation to prove people wrong. Um, I think that's the most important thing. And um, obviously adding, you know, Domi, Koibu, uh, Griggs, um, you know, obviously everyone's kind of gotten older, Jonesy and, and Z and and whatnot. We had a lot of leadership and, and veteran players to a, a, you know, pretty relatively young core too, a young group of guys. Um, so, no, I'm definitely excited. I think everyone's excited, um, you know, just to get going and to, and to start competing with each other and, and against other opponents and just going to battle with your teammates. Well, like you said at the beginning, uh, we miss seeing those highlights as well. So hopefully sooner rather than later, we see you and your teammates back on the ice. Um, and if we do miss seeing you, we're just going to book that $70 cameo. And maybe you'll get the weirdest request you've gotten so far get one from now, the yeah. NHL Network. Yeah, maybe. We, hey, can we charge it? Hey, Robert, the if you need a little pep talk, I got you, buddy. I got All you. Right, oh, hey, oh. you know what? I might have to. I might have he to. He was saying he's signing up tonight, Mike Rupp, and he's going to charge 50 cents, and he's just going to work cents. 24 gonna, hours a day. That's all I'm going to do from here until New Year. <laughs> just pump out 50-cent cameos. <laughs> Uh, Camp, thanks so much for the time. Keep up the great work. Uh, great thing you're doing there um, in the city and municipality of Columbus out there. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys.